Hi everybody, it's Chris Frame here and thanks for joining me for my flight on Qantas flight QF10 from London Heathrow to Perth. And when travelling out of London on Qantas, you now get access to the fantastic new Qantas lounge, which has a split level. It has a gin bar, a coffee bar, a buffet restaurant, um, which you can see there, a quench bar. It also has a la carte options and lots of seating, uh, which is a very pleasant place and it's managed by Sofitel, so the service is excellent. You can also see here the quality of the bathrooms and there are shower rooms as well. Uh, all of them designed to have a feeling of London, so with a subway tile there and British leather on the light fittings. And this is the shower room. Uh, There's several of those throughout the lounge uh, with the rainwater shower head there. So our flight was quite delayed, uh, but the lounge staff kept us fully informed and at 3 p.m. the flight was due to depart. And so when we boarded, uh, everyone was very eager to get into the aircraft and you can see it's a Boeing 787 and I was flying in business class and it had the new business suite, which is absolutely superb. And so you have a menu and a breakfast menu. Qantas is really clever in that it puts the breakfast options on a um, sort of room service style menu so you can check what you want and get it delivered in the morning. There's also a blanket, a water bottle, sound cancelling headphones or noise uh, muting headphones which you can see there and a light uh, for each seat. There's actually two lights on each seat um, and the controls are just down on the panel there. That's how that works. Uh, and then you also have a mattress which goes over the seat, makes it extra comfortable and plenty of leg room. Um, I'm almost two meters tall so there's plenty of space for someone my height. Uh, and welcome drinks were served, champagne and water. Uh, and you can also see over here the electronic controls. So you've got your charger, your USB port and the space there for the headphones. As always, smoking in a user PC crate is permitted on our flights. Thank you. Qantas also hands out pajamas, and uh, this is what they look like all folded up. It's got the new roux on it. And of course, the 787 has the fantastic huge windows, and my seat 3A had two for me to enjoy. Now, this just blows my mind. It's just the flight uh, path of our service and the distance that this aircraft can go. Uh, the only current service that links the United Kingdom with Australia in a direct flight. And you can see here how the aeroplane tracks across the globe. Uh, our actual flight path was slightly further south than this, so it didn't cut over the uh, landmass of India. It was just south of that. But it follows pretty much this path here that you can see. Uh, and for the first part of the flight when we were over Europe it was extremely smooth. Uh, quite a few bumps over the Indian Ocean and then smooth coming into Perth once again.
really busy day at Heathrow, so it probably was about 40 minutes from pushback to when we actually got to the runway. Uh, but it gave some excellent views out the aircraft window of all of the traffic here in London. And then it was our turn. And the 787 engines are extremely quiet, but still on takeoff. It does make that fantastic noise as they spool up, so now's a good time to turn the speakers up. London and then we followed the Thames out towards the sea. And it was a spectacular view out of the aircraft as we left the United Kingdom. And some of the other things once you're out over the ocean you can see the windmill farms, the wind turbines, and then we cut across the coast near Dover heading over the English Channel to Europe and actually flew over uh, Brussels. So first uh, drinks and a small snack were served. Uh, by now the aircraft is well and truly over Europe. crew brought out breads and salads first uh, and took the dinner orders um, and there was a pretty extensive menu I selected the soup as a starter uh, it was a vegetable soup with creme fraiche and then as the sun began to set we uh, enjoyed our dinner my um, choice was the fish which you can see there there's also a roast beef with uh, Yorkshire pudding, which was quite popular amongst the British passengers on board. And then for dessert, I had an apple trifle, and they brought around dark chocolates as well. And then it was time to check out the in-flight entertainment. Now, there's a fantastic selection on Qantas International Services. Uh, the business suite that they have, everything's touch screen, so you just uh, slide your finger across the screen there to go through the selections, and it's uh, all pretty responsive. There's a slight lag on it on this particular flight, which is unusual. The screen is very easy to use. You're also given an amenities kit, which you can see here, and inside there's an eye mask, some socks, uh, earphones, or earplugs rather, a toothbrush, and some. Uh, face creams and moisturizers and then this is what it looks like when the seat is made up with the mattress the crew usually do this for you but um, I actually did mine myself and it was pretty pretty straightforward very easy to, to do 
and it just gives a little bit of extra comfort when lying down uh, during the night. Uh, all of the seat oper options are controlled by this control panel here and Qantas has actually installed this little do not disturb button which makes your seat number turn red so the crew know not to bother you during the night. We did have a few moments of turbulence and in fact this is taken just after some turbulence. They switched the seatbelt sign on and of course... Be seated and fasten seatbelts. Of course as soon as they put the seatbelt sign on it smooths, smoothens up so... Um, it was a relatively smooth flight, just a few bumps on the Indian Ocean leg. And then they brought around drinks as the morning started to dawn on us. Um, breakfast was served. Um, I went with the continental option. And then we started to make our way into Perth. It certainly didn't feel like 15 hours and 55 minutes, which was the total flight time for this particular service. Um, Here we are crossing over the coast uh, of Western Australia. And so it's remarkable. The same window that we saw London flying past us, now we're flying over Perth. And the world has become a much smaller place. This here is Ellenbrook as the aircraft makes a turn towards the Perth airport. And now we're lining up for landing on the main runway. And so this was probably one of the best flights I've ever had. The crew were fantastic, the service was brilliant, the quality of the food was excellent. Uh, the business suite is possibly the most comfortable way to fly, particularly when you're flying by yourself. Uh, it's a big step forward from the skybeds on the A380s and 747s, uh, particularly in terms of privacy. So you have a lot of privacy, which is great for solo travellers. Uh, when compared to the A330s on the 787's uh, business suite, they have now got a movable divider so you can easily talk to your partner or friends if you're travelling together, you choose the two middle seats, uh, but if you're travelling solo you can put the divider up and you get a high degree of privacy as well. Uh, despite the aircraft being late leaving London, um, it did make up quite a lot of that lost time, uh, as you heard the captain say, about two hours uh, later than planned, and the crew had already organised um, updates for people who had connecting flights in Perth, because people leaving QF10 would go on to other flights to Sydney, Brisbane and Adelaide. And so here we come in for our landing, a very smooth approach and into a wet uh, Perth, so rather wet, wet one way here. So what did you think of QF10 from this video? If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share and subscribe uh, for more videos uh, about aviation and cruising on my channel.